Plastic Free July is a global movement which first started in 2011. The idea is that for a period of time in July, whether it be for one day or the whole month, you try not to use single-use plastic. It could be just one item, such as not using a plastic takeaway cup, or it could be that you are totally single-use plastic free. Pollution due to plastic is, quite literally, not going away. To the general public, the issue was highlighted in David Attenborough's Blue Planet series, first aired in 2017. The images of the plastic in our oceans and the devastating effect it was having on our wildlife was horrific, and it remains horrific. From zooplankton consuming microplastics, sea turtles eating plastic bags, and albatrosses eating and feeding their young an array of plastic items, plastic is the cause of much suffering and death. Over 300 million tonnes of plastic are produced every year, and every year at least 8 million tonnes of it ends up in our oceans. It makes up 80% of all marine debris, and can be found everywhere from surface waters to deep sea sediments. And because it takes a very long time to biodegrade, it will persist in the environment for years. For example, a plastic bottle can take 450 years to degrade. And plastic breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces into microplastics, which are then small enough for even tiny zooplankton to ingest and so enters the food chain, and since we eat fish, it could potentially be consumed by us. In recent times, the situation has actually gotten worse. Due to the pandemic, it is estimated that 1.6 million tonnes of plastic waste has been produced per day, with approximately 3.4 billion single-use face masks or face shields being discarded daily. And I'm horrified every time I do a lateral flow test on just how much plastic waste it produces. Plastic Free July is an opportunity to raise awareness of the plastic issue and gives practical ideas on what you as an individual, business or organisation can do. It provides resources and ideas to help you reduce your use of single-use plastic. It is estimated that over the years there have been 326 million participants from 177 countries. All those small changes that millions of people do soon add up. I have put the Plastic Free website in the sources and if you sign up for the challenge they will send you emails every week with tips to keep you motivated. I have pledged to not use any single-use plastics for a month which I know is going to be really difficult but even if I can cut down on some it will make a difference. Wish me luck and I hope some of you might join me on the journey.